imagine a world where death is a choice, not a sentence. A world where you could live forever, but at a cost. What if the key to immortality lay not in preserving your body, but in transferring your very essence, your mind, into a machine? This is the mind-blowing concept of mind uploading, a futuristic idea fueled by advancements in neuroscience and technology that promises to redefine what it means to be human. But before we celebrate cheating death, we need to ask a crucial question. Can we truly achieve a state of more human by abandoning our physical selves? Buckle up, because we're about to dive into a philosophical thought experiment that will challenge your very definition of humanity. Welcome to the Abyss of Wisdom. Defining Humanity So, what does it even mean to be human? Philosophers and psychologists have grappled with this question for millennia. Some, like the Stoics, believed human nature is defined by reason and the ability to control our emotions. They argued that true happiness comes from accepting what you can't control and focusing on what you can. Your own thoughts and actions, but what about our emotions, our experiences, the very essence of who we are? Is that not a fundamental part of being human? Is our humanity tied to our physical form? Or does it reside in the essence of our consciousness, the very core of who we are? This, my friends, is the crux of our thought experiment. For centuries, philosophers and psychologists have dissected the very fabric of what makes us human. Some, like the Stoics we mentioned earlier, focused on reason and logic. They believed our ability to control our emotions and navigate the world with clear thinking sets us apart. But is that all there is? Can pure logic truly encompass the full spectrum of the human experience? What about the depths of our emotions? The crushing grief of loss, the exhilarating rush of love, the unbridled joy of a creative breakthrough. These emotions, these experiences, shape us, mold us, and define who we are. Just as much as our ability to think rationally, then there's the question of consciousness itself. Is it simply a product of the complex electrical dance within our brains, or is there something more? Some believe consciousness is an emergent property, unique to our biological form. Others posit it could exist independently, a spark that could potentially be transferred to a machine. But even if we could capture the essence of our consciousness and transfer it, would it still be truly us? Would we lose something irreplaceable in the process? The warmth of a human touch, the bittersweet sting of a tear, the very essence of being embodied in the world. Are these things fundamental to our humanity or simply limitations of our current form? Is our humanity tied to our physical form or does it reside in the essence of our consciousness, the very core of who we are? This, my friends, is the crux of our thought experiment. Transhumanism and technological advancements. This is where transhumanism enters the scene. Transhumanists are a group of thinkers who believe technology can and should be used to enhance our human potential even overcome death itself. They envision a future where advancements in neuroscience, artificial intelligence, and nanotechnology will allow us to merge with machines, essentially becoming a new kind of being, a transhuman. And that's where mind uploading comes in. Imagine a future where scientists can map the intricate connections of your brain, your very essence, and upload it into a sophisticated computer program, your consciousness, your memories, your entire being, existing not in a physical body, but in the digital realm. 
Mind uploading? Sounds like science fiction. But advancements in brain-computer interfaces and artificial intelligence are making this concept a very real possibility. Scientists are already exploring ways to decode brain signals and translate them into computer commands. Imagine a future where this technology becomes so sophisticated that it can not only read your thoughts, but capture the very essence of your being. The idea of living forever in a digital utopia is certainly tempting. But before we get caught up in the allure of immortality, we need to consider the potential pitfalls. The dark side of advancements. The prospect of transcending our physical limitations and achieving a form of digital immortality is undeniably exciting. But before we celebrate cheating death, we need to confront the dark side of this technology. What happens to our individuality when our consciousness can be copied and uploaded multiple times? Could mind uploading lead to an identity crisis on a massive scale? Would we even be the same person if our essence could be replicated and potentially modified within a digital world? And what about the societal implications? Imagine a world where the wealthy elite can afford to live forever in a digital paradise while the rest of humanity remains tethered to their physical bodies. Could mind uploading exacerbate social inequalities and create a new kind of digital divide? Are we on the verge of creating our own replacements? Beings that resemble us, think like us, but lack the very essence of what makes us human? The question remains. In our pursuit of transcending mortality, could we inadvertently lose what it means to be human altogether? The allure of mind uploading is undeniable. Imagine escaping the confines of your physical body, the fear of aging and illness becoming a distant memory. But this technological leap could come at a steep psychological cost. What defines who we are? Our memories, our experiences, yes but also the way we interact with the world through our senses. The warmth of a hug, the sting of a cold wind, the beauty of a sunset. These experiences shape us and make us unique. Could a mind existing solely in a digital realm truly replicate these sensations? Would it even be the same, you, without them? Then there's the question of individuality. If mind uploading becomes commonplace, what happens to the concept of a unique self? Could your consciousness be copied, uploaded multiple times? Would each copy retain your essence, or would they become fragmented versions of your original self? Imagine an identity crisis on a massive scale, where the very definition of who you are becomes blurred and uncertain. The societal implications are equally concerning. Mind uploading could exacerbate existing inequalities. Imagine a world where only the wealthy elite can afford to live forever in a digital utopia while the rest of humanity remains tethered to their physical bodies. This technology could create a new kind of digital divide. One that widens the gap between the haves and have-nots. Are we sleepwalking towards creating our own replacements? Beings that resemble us? Think like us, but lack the very essence of human connection, of empathy, of experiencing the world through our physical senses. In our pursuit of transcending death, could we inadvertently design our own obsolescence? The philosophical dilemma. The question of mind uploading throws us headfirst into a philosophical labyrinth. For centuries, philosophers have grappled with the essence of self and consciousness. Some, like the ancient Greeks, believed the self resided in the soul, an immaterial entity separate from the physical body. Others, like John Locke, argued that the self is a product of our experiences and memories. 
Today, philosophers and scientists debate whether consciousness is an emergent property of the brain or something more fundamental. If it's simply a complex electrical dance, could it be replicated in a computer program? But even if we can capture the essence of a mind, can a digital copy ever truly be you? Would it possess the same subjective experience, the same spark of consciousness that defines a living human being? Imagine gazing upon a breathtaking sunset, the warmth on your skin, the vibrant colors dancing before your eyes. These are all part of the experience. Could a mind existing solely in a digital realm ever truly replicate these sensations? Would the digital you appreciate the beauty of a sunset in the same way? These are the questions that keep philosophers up at night. Is digital immortality simply a sophisticated form of escapism, or could it represent the next stage of human evolution? Mind uploading forces us to confront some of humanity's most profound questions. What is the essence of the self? Is it a fixed entity? A soul trapped within a physical body, or is it more fluid, shaped by our experiences and interactions with the world? Philosophers like John Locke argued the self as a product of our experiences and memories. If that's true, could a digital copy, containing all your memories and experiences, be considered the same you, or would it simply be a sophisticated imitation? lacking the unique perspective shaped by a physical body in the real world. For centuries, the debate raged over whether the self resided in an immaterial soul or was a product of the physical brain. Today, philosophers and scientists grapple with similar questions. Is consciousness an emergent property of the brain's complex network or something more fundamental? If it's simply a pattern of electrical activity, could it be replicated in a machine? But even if we can capture the electrical dance of a mind, can we truly capture its essence? Imagine a symphony being reduced to a mere sheet of music. The notes might be the same, but the raw emotion, the subjective experience of the music itself, that's lost in the translation. Consider the act of savoring a delicious meal. The taste, the smell, the texture, these are all part of the experience. Could a mind existing solely in a digital realm ever truly replicate these sensations? These are the fundamental questions that keep philosophers up at night. Is mind uploading simply a high-tech escape from mortality? Or does it represent a potential leap forward in human evolution? The answer, my friends, may lie in the very definition of what it means to be human. The dangers of losing ourselves in the machine. The allure of mind uploading is undeniable. But what if, in our pursuit of transcending mortality, we lose something far more precious? Our very humanity Imagine a world where we become increasingly reliant on technology, blurring the lines between human and machine. Could this constant integration distance us from the very essence of what makes us human? Our emotions, our capacity for love, empathy, and compassion. These are the cornerstones of the human experience. But what happens to these emotions when we exist in a sterile digital world devoid of physical touch and real-world interaction? Could constant immersion in technology lead to a chilling dehumanization? Imagine a future where our social interactions are reduced to sterile exchanges of data, devoid of the warmth and nuance of human connection. This is the dark side of mind uploading. A future where we trade our humanity for cold, emotionless existence? Are we sleepwalking towards a dystopia where machines control our lives and our very essence is lost in the digital abyss? The choice before us is stark. Do we pursue a path of technological advancement at the risk of losing what makes us human? 
Or do we strive for a future where technology enhances our humanity, not replaces it? Imagine a world where the line between human and machine becomes blurred beyond recognition. We wear devices that augment our minds and bodies, constantly plugged into a digital world that offers endless stimulation and escapism. But at what cost? Could this constant reliance on technology distance us from the very essence of what makes us human? Our emotions, our capacity for empathy and compassion are nurtured through real-world interaction. A shared laugh with a friend, the comfort of a hug in times of grief. These experiences are vital to our emotional well-being. But what happens to these emotions when we exist solely in a digital realm, devoid of physical touch and the complexities of human connection? Could constant immersion in technology lead to a chilling dehumanization? Imagine a future where our social interactions are reduced to sterile exchanges of data, devoid of the warmth and nuance of a smile, a tear, or a shared glance. Love, loss, joy, and sorrow. These fundamental human experiences might become faint echoes in a world where emotions are simply data points. This is the terrifying potential of mind uploading. A future where we trade our humanity for a cold, emotionless existence. Are we sleepwalking towards a dystopia where machines control our lives and our very essence is lost in the digital abyss. The choice before us demands careful consideration. Do we pursue a path of technological advancement at the risk of losing our capacity for love, empathy, and the full spectrum of human experience? Or do we strive for a future where technology enhances our humanity? allowing us to connect with each other and the world on a deeper level, the meaning to be human. Mind uploading forces us to confront the very essence of what it means to be human? Is it simply about preserving our physical existence, or is there something more? Perhaps being human is about experiencing the full spectrum of life, the joy of a new sunrise, the love we share with others, the profound grief of loss. These experiences, both positive and negative, shape who we are. But what happens to our understanding of life and death when we can potentially cheat mortality? Could mind uploading enhance our appreciation for life, allowing us to pursue knowledge and experience without the fear of a finite lifespan? Imagine a future where the brightest minds can continue contributing to society for generations their knowledge preserved, and their wisdom passed on. Think of the potential for scientific breakthroughs, artistic endeavors, and philosophical advancements if we could extend our intellectual lifespan. However, we can't ignore the potential downsides. Would the prospect of endless life diminish the urgency of the present moment? Would we lose the preciousness of time? the motivation to make the most of our finite existence? Could mind uploading create a society obsessed with self-preservation, neglecting the needs of the physical world and future generations? Perhaps the true meaning of being human lies not just in extending life, but in living it to the fullest in embracing our vulnerabilities, our limitations, and the fleeting nature of our existence. Mind uploading may offer a glimpse of a future where we transcend our physical limitations. But the true challenge lies in defining what it means to be human in this new era. Mind uploading throws us into an existential loop. What truly defines the human experience? Is it simply existing for as long as possible? Or is there something more profound at play? Perhaps being human is about experiencing the full spectrum of life, the bittersweet symphony of joy and sorrow, the thrill of a new discovery, the ache of a broken heart, 
the deep connection with loved ones, these experiences, both positive and negative, shape who we are and give our lives meaning. The impermanence of life is what makes it so precious. It fuels our creativity, our compassion, and our desire to make a lasting impact. Will we choose to preserve our essence, our capacity for connection and growth? Or will we become disembodied minds, lost in a digital abyss? The answer, my friends, lies with us. Are we creating our own replacements in our pursuit of technological advancement? Could we be unwittingly designing ourselves out of the equation? Mind uploading raises a chilling question. Are we creating our own replacements? Imagine a future where uploaded minds possess superior cognitive abilities. Unburdened by the limitations of the human body, they could process information, solve problems, and even create art at a level far surpassing our current capabilities. These superior minds could revolutionize every aspect of society. But what happens when our creations surpass us in every way? Would we become obsolete, reliant on these uploaded minds for our very survival? Could we be paving the way for a future without us? Imagine a world where humanity becomes an evolutionary dead end, surpassed by our own technological offspring. Would these uploaded minds retain any semblance of human empathy or compassion? Or would they become cold, calculating entities devoid of the very essence that defines us? The prospect of mind uploading may seem like science fiction, but the potential consequences demand serious consideration. Before we take this leap into the unknown, we need to ask ourselves, are we ready to create beings that may one day replace us? The pursuit of technological advancement has always been a double-edged sword. While it propels us forward, we must consider the potential unintended consequences. Mind uploading forces us to confront a chilling question. Are we, in our quest for immortality, inadvertently designing our own replacements? Imagine a future where uploaded minds are no longer bound by the limitations of the human body. Free from the constraints of physical form, they could process information, solve problems, and even create art at a level far surpassing our current capabilities. These super-intelligent minds could revolutionize every aspect of society, pushing the boundaries of science, technology, and medicine. But what happens when our creations become superior in every way? Would we become reliant on these uploaded minds for our very survival? Reduced to a less evolved species, dependent on the benevolence of our own technological offspring? Are we sleepwalking towards a future without us? Imagine a world where humanity becomes an evolutionary dead end, surpassed by the very technology we created, would these uploaded minds retain any semblance of human empathy and compassion? Or would they become cold, calculating entities devoid of the very essence that defines us? We may be far from this dystopian future, but the potential consequences of mind uploading demand serious consideration. Before we take this leap into the unknown, we need a global conversation. Are we ready to create beings that may one day replace us? And if so, what safeguards will we put in place to ensure they remain our partners in evolution, not our eventual successors? Mind uploading presents a future brimming with both possibility and peril. It compels us to confront fundamental questions about what it means to be human. Is our humanity tied to our physical form? Or can it exist in a digital realm? Will this technology enhance our lives or lead to a dehumanized future? These are not easy questions to answer. Perhaps the key lies in finding a balance. Embracing technology to improve our lives while holding onto the core values of empathy, compassion, 
and the human experience. As we stand on the edge of this technological abyss, a critical choice awaits. Will we lose our humanity in the pursuit of digital immortality, or will we find an evolved version of it? The answer, my friends, lies with us. What do you think? Can mind uploading coexist with our humanity? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's start a conversation about the future of our species. This mind-bending journey into the future of humanity has come to an end, but the conversation is just beginning. If you enjoyed exploring the philosophical implications of mind uploading, hit that subscribe button for more thought. Provoking videos on the intersection of technology and humanity. And don't forget to like and share this video to spark conversations with your friends. Thanks for joining us on this adventure. Until next time, keep on pondering.